Yo, what up, fucking nerds? What's poppin', pussies? What's up, people? Today, I'm gonna show you how to use an Xbox controller, Xbox 360 controller to be specific, on a Dolphin emulator. So, first thing we wanna do, obviously, open up Dolphin. Boop, boop. We open that bitch. And as you can see, uh, we have our Dolphin games in here. Uh, we don't condone piracy, allegedly. Uh, these are all paid for games allegedly so first thing we do is click the controller tab let's do the GameCube part first and you notice it has port 1 and port 2 obviously we want to go to port 1 and you want to click the down arrow and you want to go to standard controller right you click that and then you click configure boom click that shit right and you want to click this down arrow and if it's an Xbox controller you want to make sure you click X input for the gamepad. I think D input is for like older controllers like like D-pad basically controllers like Super Nintendo controllers and whatnot what have you or whatever. So basically all I did was just assign the buttons to the buttons they go. You can assign them to anything but I just put A for A just so I didn't get confused. B, X, Y. So to do that you just press you just click the thing and it's gonna say waiting right here on the screen and then well I didn't even you press it and then you press the button on your controller and as you can see when you press the buttons on your controller these light up to show you that they work so like if you can see this if you notice I press A and on the screen A comes up B same thing Y and for Z I have the right bumper so that's the Z button like it would be on the controller on the, the GameCube controller and start button is the start button okay and the C stick is the same thing, you or the control stick, excuse me, you the control stick, you assign the buttons just like that. You click the thing and then you press up on the control stick. Now, for to me it seems like on this emulator the the, the controls are really sensitive. So what I did, I turned up the dead zone to 20, and that, that makes it so like unless the controller or the stick is moved it won't move until it's moved outside of this radius this little this you see notice how this is a lighter gray and then inside here is darker gray the darker gray is the dead zone because like sometimes I would go to play like Tales of Symphonia and you you let the control stick come back and notice like if I just let it come back notice how it's not like perfectly centered so like you would still move in that direction that it's aiming you know what I'm saying so like you let it come back and it doesn't land right in the middle so you gotta have like a little dead zone so my advice would be put the dead zone up to 20 um same thing with the C stick which is the right thumbstick obviously but that's not as that doesn't really affect as many games so I didn't put the dead zone but you can do the same thing I left the radius at 100 and yeah you can do the same thing for the triggers L and R left trigger L R right this you don't have to do anything with profile I guess you could make a profile and save it but I haven't tried it um the rumble I haven't tried this yet um let's click it let's test wait motor L test so wait select test that works so oh god oh oh lord oh lord so let's let's try that apply I haven't tried this yet okay wait okay let's delete one of them wait 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 let's select let's do both of them select let's test oh yeah <clears throat> okay so apply apply damn it oh, okay it worked okay the d-pad same thing up down left right threshold 50 I didn't touch that and then click okay now for the Wii controller it's a little more complicated because it has the fucking the movements you know what I'm saying it has these that you gotta do so what I did is go to configure same thing X input it'll probably it'll say just like this zero it should and then a B one and two I just put X and Y because I just assumed you know one one and two you know but you can put it either way obviously back is minus start is plus um, and then the, for the infrared I use the C stick right and for that well there's that and then there's also 
This is the D-pad. So I did the same thing. And for the shake, now for the shake, I I used Y the Y axis trigger R, and then the Z axis the left trigger. So, cause like in certain games, like in for example like uh, Donkey Kong Country, you gotta do the shake motion to do the fucking ground pound, right? To do it, you gotta do the shake motion to do the ground pound, and uh. Same thing with uh, Mario Galaxy, you gotta shake to do the spin or whatever, right? And the way I found that it works is if you do it like this, you put these two like this, trigger R is Y, or Y is trigger R, which doesn't fucking work for whatever reason, and trigger L to Z, I just put that on Z, threshold 50, left it like that. That way you could do the ground pound, but that being said though, some stuff still doesn't work all the way, right? Like some stuff, um... Because there's, there's parts in Mario Galaxy where you have to shake, like, in a specific way. Or there's parts in um, New Super Mario Brothers where you have to shake. Or you have to, like, tilt the controller. And it, it doesn't really work. Like, I mean, they have these controls where you can tilt. You could set a button for tilt, I guess. I guess you could probably do the D-pad for that, but... But then you don't have a D-pad, so I don't, I don't know. Like, and there's also games where... You have to play with the controller here. I got a fucking. I have one somewhere. Uh, I should have did this before. God damn it. Okay. But you have. Hopefully, I get this on camera. There's games where you gotta hold the controller, you know, sideways like this. So to move left and right, it's like this. It's basically the up and down is left and right now, and up and left and right is up and down. So like the buttons are. They're mixed up. So, it's confusing because when you use a normal D-pad like this, when you try to use a normal D-pad, you, it's switched, you know what I'm saying? Like, you press left to go left, and it's like down or something, or up, or whatever. So, you might have to play with the D-pad a little bit, I haven't really tested that. I might, I might have to go through that, maybe put that in the comments or something in the description, or, you know, edit it in or something, re-upload, or whatever. But there's that. But there's tilt controls too, so you could do that. And it's, I guess I got the rumble to work with this. But another thing is these extensions for like the nunchuck and stuff, like these, these little the the nunchuck. You know, you can you can set it in here. You click configure, and this is where you set like basically the left the left hand side of the controller the left thumbstick so what I set it as the C button is the left bumper C as you can see C left bumper and Z I did the same thing for the GameCube controller Z is the right bumper and then the stick I just did it as the thumbstick and I put the dead zone at 15 for whatever reason and then here you go the swing controls now there's just not enough buttons on an Xbox controller to put this stuff you know what I'm saying it's just just doesn't work but you can do the shake which I put again I put the put it as Z and you put it as L and it works for the most part so let's let's show you these controls right but if you now in Dolphin 5.0 well you could you could use the Wii controllers before in the older versions but only if you had the older Wii controllers if you got the Wii motion plus ones the Wii motion plus I don't know if you can see that those didn't really work that well. You had to do some extra, extra shit in the older versions of Dolphin. But now, you could just, if you have a Bluetooth, uh, USB, whatever, in your computer, you can fucking, you can use the Wii Motion Plus controllers fine. They connect just fine. And in fact, I bought some fucking batteries today, so I can use my Wii controller, because there's still parts that I want to, you know, wiggle and waggle. I still want to do, you know, I still want to be able to play the game to the fullest extent, so there's that. But... Um, and you, there's USB, um, fucking, what are those called? Infrared sensors, like the IR bars, there's USB ones that you can plug into the computer too. I got one of those. Or you can use candles, I heard. I think you can use flashlights too on either side of your setup. So, but let's test this, man. Enough rambling. Enough fucking talking, man. So let's go out of this. Let's pick a game. I don't know, let's pick a random GameCube game. One that I that I know runs well. 
that can kind of showcase all the buttons. Do a lot of editing now. Fucking pick the game, bitch. Let's play Custom Robo. I love this game. Full volume. Okay. I hate when the mouse is on the screen when I'm playing ambulated games. It really takes me out of the experience. Alright. Start button works. Okay. As you can see. And you can have, you know, the controller set up for the Wii and the GameCube. And it won't they won't bother each other. First vote, single battle. As you can see, let's see. Oh wait. Can I? I can't go against the computer? What the fuck? Story mode, I guess. Did I not start this game? I could have sworn I played this fucking game. Oh no, I did. Okay. See, A. A works. And of course, you can upscale the resolution so it looks way better than it did on GameCube. A. A, A. Oh, I'm just sitting here talking. What the fuck am I doing? Okay. See, control stick works. Works. Walk over here. Let's battle this dude. Oh, come on. I just knocked that loser out. Don't I deserve a break? Alright, listen up. That guy ought to be worn out from his fight, too. If you listen to my advice, you should be able to... Fuck your advice, man. Fuck your advice. I don't give a fuck about it. Got it. Got it. Typical anime hero. With silver hair. Alright, he has this big monkey gorilla thing. I don't have any parts, so I don't want to customize nothing. Depending on your computer, this may or may not run well. Um, in my old computer, it didn't run very well, so I don't know how well it runs since I fucking upgraded or whatever. Why the fuck was my number way higher than his, though? That was whack. Alright, I used to love this game. A is to jump and, like, skirt like that. Uh, B is to shoot, I think. Yeah. R is the bombs, and L is the... What do they call them? Mods or something? Something like that. Oh my god. Bitch! I'm so bad at this game now. Like, the controls are so... clunky. But, once you get used to it, it's such a good game, though. I used to play this shit a lot. When I was younger. I love it. It's great. It's great! Oh... Uh, Bitch. Ah. Oh my god. Okay. Beow, beow, beow. Beow, beow, beow. Where are you going, fag? These parts suck so bad. Mmm, they need to remake this, man. We need a custom robo, too. Or just a custom robo remake. That's the only thing about. that I fucking hate about Nintendo, man. Like, you see all these other companies, Sony and shit, remastering, like, classic fucking games. Nintendo remasters Zelda games. They remaster already fucking popular, like, games. You need to remaster the hidden gems, dog. That's where the money is. At least for me. To me. That's what we want to play. I want to play fucking this. I want to play the original Crystal Chronicles again, man. Come on. Give us some of that. Remaster Kirby Air Ride, goddammit. Alright, that's good enough. For this this game plays well mm -hmm. let's get out of this i want to show yes i want to show the the wii motion shit or not the motion shit but i want to show that the rumble controls work here we go all right full volume gonna go into this tells you this haha <laughs> silly computer I don't have that and then a and B we assigned a and B um, I already been playing this game I've gotten pretty far this is a really hard game it's a really challenging game honestly quite honestly so it's loading we're going to the cliff, I guess. This is where we are. Oh, I think I'm at this boss. I can't remember if I tried to play it or not. I think I finished that last stage and just, like, nope, I'm going to bed. Too hard. Now, remember, we assigned the shake to simply the left trigger, right? So, the... Wow, this shit looks... 
I feel like the resolution looks bad. I think I did lower it last time I played, but um, to do the ground pound again, it's the left trigger because that's the shape, right? And same thing with the blow. You hold down and then left trigger. That's how you do that. But again, in some games, with the tilt function, you have to set it up. You can, like I said, you could probably assign it to the D-pad, but I haven't tried that yet. So, but it just, I don't know. I, I just don't feel like it would work. Like, you know, it kind of takes away from, you know, the experience. So you might want to just get a Wii controller like I did. I just got a cheap Wii controller. And so I could use it on here. But let's just test it out. Now, also another thing I want to say, no, I haven't tried this, but I, I want to say, oh, shit. But the emulation is not one-to-one. -one. Like, when you do, like, the shake motion, like, like for example, in this game. Oh, shit. For example, in this game, when you run and fucking itch. When you, ooh, when you run and do the shake motion, you spo you're supposed to do this roll. Now, I don't know, because I never played this game, like, on a Wii, or with the Wii controller, at least not yet. Oh, God. Oh, what the fuck? You had a goddamn shockwave? When you play it, or when you run and do, like, shake motion, I feel like there's a lag. Like, there's, there's like, a delay, or there's, like, it's not as responsive as I would assume from a Nintendo game in, a, like, in a native state, you know what I'm saying? Like, Nintendo games usually have really good controls. Usually, it's not stiff. It's not, like... But with this, I feel like there's a delay sometimes. Like, I, or I feel like sometimes I go to do something and I don't like it doesn't come out right. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I'll test it with the Wii controller one of these days and and you know see if it's still a, not as responsive or whatever. But anyway, that's pretty much all I had to show. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end this video now so I don't embarrass myself fighting as a boss because I'm terrible at this game. So. Yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Stupid.